Today we fly out through Walls End and on to Minmai Road to the destination of Walls End West where the Summerhill Waste Management Centre or the TIP as we know it is located to look at some green energy. I recently found out that our local government is having a crack at supplying some alternative energy in the form of solar power and methane gas. So let's see what they've done and find out about some of the benefits. The solar farm, which was commissioned in 2019, was constructed on an 8 hectare site at Summerhill Waste Management Centre. The area selected was previously the Walls End Borehole Colliery coal mine which ceased operations in the mid to late 1960s. More recently, the land, which was filled with waste over the previous years, was capped and readied for the solar plant. The motivation for this project was to increase renewable energy capability and find more energy efficient solutions over the long term to support Council's energy needs. There are around 16,000 photovoltaic solar panels installed across an area the size of around five football fields. The five megawatt solar farm installed at Summerhill Centre generated well over $400,000 in the first six months of operation. This was well above the original forecast used in the business model, which projected an average earning of $250,000 a year. The $8 million solar project was implemented in an attempt to reduce the council's $4 million annual electricity bill after they started to double over the previous years. The City of Newcastle secured the $6.5 million loan from the Clean Energy Finance Corporation and $1 million from the New South Wales Government's Environmental Trust. Not only does this facility help to power council services, but it's supposed to save ratepayers around $9 million over its 25-year lifespan. I'm hoping to see a cheque in the mail soon. Today, the solar farm produces enough energy to run the equivalent of around 1,300 households. Also at the site at Summerhill is a 2.2 megawatt landfill gas generator. The generator captures methane gas, a byproduct of landfill decomposition, to fuel electricity generators. This not only provides a source of energy, but also minimises the environmental harm associated with landfill emissions. According to LMS Energy, who runs the gas facility, currently the annual production for the Newcastle Bioenergy facility is approximately 24,700 megawatt hours produced which powers approximately 5,670 homes. There's been 167,000 tonnes of CO2 removed from the atmosphere. Well, this is information tended by the LMS Energy site. Also, a huge thank you to those that have liked and subscribed. Feel free to leave comments below. And as usual, I'll catch you on the next one.